So this application is for the erection of two new industrial industrial buildings forming five units for B1C, uh, which is light industrial, B2, which is general industrial, and B8, which is storage and distribution uses at Plot 17 in Harlow Business Park. The site is shown edged red here. Uh, the site is entirely within the defined employment area, and therefore the site is proposed to be used for acceptable purposes. The proposed layout and context is shown here, and the buildings are in orange. A yellowy orange. Uh, here are examples of the elevations. They would be extremely similar to the uh, surrounding warehouses within the area, which you can see on the bottom left slide here. Um, the top photo is of the access looking east. Uh, the bottom right photo is of uh, within the site and the bottom left photo is looking uh, northwest. On this slide the top photo is from the east of the site in the uh, tree belt um, looking westwards uh, towards the application site. Uh, and the bottom left photo is from a similar position, but this time looking eastwards towards the closest neighbour. Uh, in the foreground there is garden. And the photo on the bottom right is again looking at the application uh, site from the east. This slide shows the nearest neighbouring properties. Environmental health has no objections with the proposal and it is considered that the building towards the east of the site would block much of the noise from the properties start there. There's also a significant 10 metre deep and 13 metre high tree belt around the northern and the ed and eastern edges of the site, which is what those photos were from. Uh, in light of this, and particularly in the context that the site can currently be used as a bus depot, which didn't have any buildings on it. Um, and before that, the site was used as a sausage factory, which is um, similarly used as what's been, uh, proposed now. It's considered that the proposal would be acceptable uh, in terms of noise, um, subject to a condition which ensures that any plant that they install is appropriate. <clears throat> A total of 44 car parking spaces would be provided, including five disabled spaces. The amount of parking provision measured against the standards, parking standards, depends on whether the occupiers are within classes B1C, B2 or B8, as the standards are different for each. On the basis of a mix of one B1C and two B2 and two B8 units, the amount of parking against the standards would be 81%. Given that a travel plan would be secured to promote sustainable travel, um, and along with the highway authority monitoring this, for which they would uh, have a monitoring fee secured through a legal agreement, it is, it is considered that the amount of parking is appropriate. Therefore, the application is recommended for approval, subject to the applicant entering into that agreement to secure the travel plan monitoring fee, the conditions and informative set out at 41 to 45 of the agenda, and the additional condition and amendments set out in the update in supplementary agenda one. Thank you. Thank you. We have um, no speakers for or against this item other than the agent, so could I call Mr. Dickens? Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak and explain more about our proposed development and about Chancery Gate. Chancery Gate is a national property developer of industrial and distribution warehouses with offices in London, Warrington, Birmingham and Milton Keynes, employing over 35 people. We have been trading for 25 years and have developed more than 8 million square feet of industrial accommodation nationally. Harlow has been a successful town for Chancery Gate. We have previously developed a multi-unit estate on River Way in 2006 
and are currently on site building a new trade and industrial development at East Place behind Tesco's. East Place is being built by a local contractor called Oakmont and will accommodate national tenants including Travis Perkins, Howlands, Dulux and McFarlane Packaging, some of whom are new to the town. Only one unit remains available and we have not yet finished building the units. Following the success of East Place, we want to invest further in Harlow and provide small industrial units on a freehold basis targeting the SME sector. The subject site, known as Plot 17 or the former bus depot, will be branded as Harlow Gate. The site has not been used for a number of years and our proposed development will regenerate the site in keeping with its surrounding uses. The site is just over one acre and we propose to speculatively build five industrial and distribution warehouses totaling 28,000 square feet. The capital commitment of this project is 3.9 million pounds. We intend to start building these units as soon as planning consent is granted, meaning unit, new units will be available and ready to be occupied in quarter two, 2020. We have applied for a range of uses, including B1C, B2 and B8, and designed the scheme so that the purchasers can buy one or more units if their size requirement dictates as to attract as many potential occupiers as possible. We have been marketing the opportunity through local agents and have already, and have already got three of the five units under offer for sale to owner occupiers. These, these occupiers are new to the area and therefore already attracting inward investment into the town. With regards to planning, the site is acknowledged by officers as a suitable location for industri industrial development. Accordingly, we hope that members will see the overall benefits of the scheme where there is no in principle objection to the industrial development of this site. As set out in your officer's report, there are no technical objections, including design, noise, residential amenity, parking, transport, ecology and drainage. The proposed development will also secure numerous economic benefits. We therefore request that members accept your officer's recommendation and approve the planning application. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Members, any questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Question on the, on the travel map. Um, the subject of, as some of these are going to be possibly distribution units, um, there is an issue in the town at the moment about the route HGVs and the traffic take to get to where they want to go. Is there any provision with the travel plan to direct which route they take or to suggest? Or? That would be on the, be beyond the scope of what a travel plan could do. I think that would need to be done through uh, However, a TRO. There is a plan. There is a plan in the plan. There's a plan in the plan. There's a plan. I can't describe it. There is a plan. So we'll worry about that. I know about that plan. Yes. <coughs> I missed what the uses uh, that they... B1, C, B2 and B8. So light, industri light industrial, um, general industrial and storage and distribution. The difference between light industrial and general industrial for their use classes is that um, their B1C would be appropriate within the residential area because it wouldn't have um, like emissions or, or pollutants and things. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, whereas B2, the general industrial, is obviously for employment areas, mm -hmm. more, and obviously this is within an employment area. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Debate? Right. Stop. No mm -hmm. debate? Uh, no. I'd just like to raise that point, which I have raised before. If residents are asked, local residents are asked their objections or opinions one of them has commented if it's going to be broken up into five units um, you can't make an adequate response unless you know exactly what's going in there and i do think that is a problem it is a problem for the officer later in making deductions and i accept that mixed uses was a pragmatic response but nevertheless it does create an awkward situation for residents I think I, I'm sure that 
well, I'm not sure, but it's likely to be quieter, for example, than the bus depot that's been there beforehand. I, I don't would hope so. Councillor Guy. Oh, that'd be a good chairman. Um, yeah, it clears up that site and brings more important employment to Harlow, which we need desperately. So, all in favour? Okay. Anybody else? No? In that case, if we could move to the vote. Uh, pages 41 to 45, recommendations 1 to 16, plus informatives, and then on your supplementary paper, you've got another recommendation, number 17, and there are amendments to 5 and 15. All of those in favour.